What's up, baby? I was rave. I was raving about you and letting them know that you had a post on Instagram that shook my core, and you said, "Man, I'm gonna go to town in 2020. I'm gonna be the number one speaker." And I saw that, and I'm letting you know, I'm watching you. Don't think just because I don't comment, I don't like stuff. I'm reading. <laughs> it, and I'm I know you're putting it out in the universe, so no, don't think bro. I'm watching you. No, I'm okay. kidding. You don't, you don't know how much I love you, bro. You, you believed in the kid. You know, when you hear all these crazy kids talking about how great they want to be and what they want to do, um, it's not, it's not um, every day you get it. Like, kings like yourself of your age, your experience, that, that, that look at us young kings and be like, I want to give these kids a shot, man. I want these kids to believe. And uh, like I said, man, we appreciate your existence, man. Thank you for- Anytime, anytime. You're you putting do, a man. lot of content. I love it. You're definitely going, listen, I see so many fake gurus. I see so many fake people out there. When we see you putting out content and you don't expect nothing out there because so many people sold their souls for some commission, some money, some products, some stupid stuff, instead of just saying, you know what? Let me put it out there and money is going to come as a byproduct of you putting it out. So I know a lot of my audiences don't know who you are. So if you want to start from top, to just go all the way down, give us a rundown of your journey, um, I think it's going to resonate with a lot of people. Uh, well, kings and queens, you know, for those who listen, um, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I look at myself as one of those ordinary people. Um, you know, those ordinary individuals, you know, that was told they wasn't smart enough, um, they wasn't brilliant enough to bring anything to the world. And I just decided to say, uh, I'm tired of sitting in the crowd applauding other people when I can be in the game. And um, I started four years ago, homeless on the side of a Turkey Hill gas station, no money, no nothing. Um, God blessed me with an opportunity to go into a school and speak to five young men. Um, after those five minutes, uh, those superintendents at the school asked me, how much do I charge to speak? I never knew anything about speaking, the professional speaking industry. And... Um, Two weeks later, they called me back in, and um, I spoke to 500 kids. And four years later, uh, today, I'm over closing in on 200 million total uh, views on YouTube. Got the number one spoken word album in the world. Um, I never wrote a speech in my life. I freestyle every single one of my speeches. It all comes from the heart because I believe when you speak from the heart, you touch the heart. But when you look at William Hollis in a nutshell and all of all things, um, I'm just a kid that believes, that believes in, the, in, the, in, 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 in almost impossible things. And I believe um, the power of what we want and what we access is in our tongue, just like Napoleon Hill talked about, think and grow rich, bro. That is everything. If you haven't read that book, if you don't know about that book, it is everything, and it gives me so much excitement because in this book, it breathes what you think of and what you speak and what you believe this universe uh, owes you is what you're going to get. And that man left us a gem. He left us something special. And for people who tap into this book and tap into this aura of Think and Grow Rich, um, it'll take you to a new level like me. That book made me believe that I don't care who they say the best speakers in the world is. I'm going to chase you. And if I say I'm the best speaker in the world, I'm going to believe it. And with Think and Grow Rich, it makes you believe this wholeheartedly. It makes you understand the power of the universe and understand that the kingdom is in the middle of your forehead. It's what you see. It's what you believe. It's what you want out of life. And if you anybody out there that started with nothing, Never had an opportunity. Never thought he had the capabilities or the talent to do something. I want you to speak this into the universe, that I am enough. I am powerful. And I can bring something to this world that's never been seen before. Because the creator gives us all this genius level potential. And once you tap into it and truly believe it and understand that the person that you're looking for to change your life is right in the mirror. And that's the day that your life will change. Think and grow rich, baby. Napoleon Hill, the greatest. One of the greatest, the greatest of all time. Greatest. I love it. Listen, now you want now I'm thinking I should go read the book again. Now that you just finished out, maybe I should go read the book one more time. Well, you should read it all the time. But he, here is here is here is my question for you. There are so many of our brothers and sisters out there that the universe, our society, parents, 
boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wives. We have so many people around us that tells us that we're not good, we're not enough because of their limiting beliefs. Here is my question. If there is one human being on this planet that's going to watch this video, what is your suggestion based on what you have done and what you accomplished? What did you do to believe in yourself? How does that, the, the, the major issue that I'm seeing is it's that start. If we can get them to start, I think they could elevate to the next level easier. It's just that that beginning part is hard, getting out of your, your comfort zone. How did you do it? What is your suggestion for all these younger generation who they may not have it together? We're all human. We all got flaws. You know, we all got messed up families, messed up this, you know. This, this, it's the hand that we were dealt. Your mom and dad did the best they could do, but the best they did wasn't good to get you to the next level. Absolutely. How do we not blame them and we pick up and go to the next level? What is your suggestion? What is your recommendation? I, 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 I got this saying that I say, take the baton and keep running, baby. It's your time. And I, I tell people all the time, you think you got forever. You think you got this long life to live, to, 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 to accomplish things that you want out of this life, but you don't. We only got a second and the clock is ticking. It's like MJ, baby. MJ, MJ mastered the millisecond. That's right. what we gotta. That's what us as individuals trying to discover ourselves. We gotta master the millisecond, and the millisecond in life is taking advantage of every opportunity, not waiting for it, but running towards it. I'm telling you, I am you. That kid sitting at home right now trying to figure out what it is that he can bring to the world. I am you, and I'm bringing some of the best motivation that they have seen in generations. And I was special education. Mother was a drug addict. Father's in the penitentiary to this day. I still got JPEG. I send money to the penitentiary more than I send to my bill collector. So what I'm telling you is start right now and understand that you are enough. You are the missing piece that this universe is searching for. And until you believe that, it will never come. Don't wait. Do it now. 2020 represents do it now because everything we ever wanted is in front of us. We just got to run towards it. Take the baton and run. Don't think about the past. Don't think about what's behind you. Get to the finish line in 2020. Because let me tell you something. Greatness does not come overnight. But when it comes, it's just like the feeling when you're riding your bike. When you first get a bike, it's training wheels on it, baby. You're rolling, you're rolling, you're learning all the ditches, you're learning all the movements that can potentially make you fall. But once you take those training wheels off, your mama can't tell you to stay on the same street because you're running, you're moving because you can finally do it. And that's the dream. This is the dream, ladies and gentlemen. It's just like the day you take those training wheels off that bike, everything's going to roll in place. Everything's going to come together. And that's what's happening. I, I, I don't talk about things uh, 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 that, that I don't experience. I talk about things that I literally watch manifest, and I'm not going to call myself no genius. I'm not going to call myself no guru or the messiah. I'm going to call myself an individual that decided that he wanted more than minimum wage. He wanted more for his family. He hated when he walked into restaurants and he saw the homeless digging in their pockets for quarters and other people looking down on them. I wanted to make them believe that they are something. And as long as you know that you're something, you're going to be something. Because all you have to do is speak it out your mouth. Because once you think rich, you will grow rich. And that's the way it goes, ladies and gentlemen. To answer your question in a nutshell that missed that, go get it today. Wow, love it, man. love it. Go Listen, I also saw I also saw your picture. This was a few months ago. You had the opportunity to meet Les Brown, which is one of my one of my favorite speakers. And when he filled up the dome, I still go back to that video on YouTube. Sometimes I just go when I'm down, when I'm not doing it, like I gotta listen, to, I gotta get me some Les Brown in me. And when oh, I get that, I'm like, okay, <laughs> down, that's it. You had the opportunity to, to meet with him. How was that, man? That, I mean, I've, I've met him at conventions and other places. I've shook in his hand, but I never had the time that you had. 
And I don't know, I, I don't know, I would probably be panicking and stuff. I'm like, he's a legend. No, King, no. It's crazy. I'm going to tell, tell you, for a person that relates to people so much, as we know he does, far as speaking, you know what I mean? He is a down-to-earth man's man. He told me a story, man. And um, I asked him, I said, Les, why did you why why did you give me the opportunity to meet you? He said, Man, I watched one of your videos and and I saw a hunger that I haven't saw in over 40 or 50 years, William. I haven't seen it, and I haven't seen that hunger from nobody but myself. And he told me, I'm telling you, this was before the money, before we was flying to Australia, before we doing all this. He said, I'm telling you, you're gonna be the voice of this generation. You're going to change and uplift people that you never even thought. People that's, that, that you might have thought years ago were way more qualified than you. But they're not more qualified than you than, 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 than speaking life into people. And what I learned from Les Brown that day, I learned this. He didn't talk to me as a student. He didn't talk to me as a baby. He talked to me as a man, and he told me this. He said, Will, over 30 years ago, I had a friend of mine that passed away. He was an amazing up and coming speaker. I was supposed to sit down with him and do the same thing that I'm doing with you today. But he went off and flew overseas over the um, Bermuda Triangle and he had a plane crash. We never saw him again. And the day I turned on your video, he told me the day he turned on my video was the day that God reincarnated his friend that he was supposed to meet. And he was supposed to show the world his talents. And he said, the reason why I'm not charging you twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 to come here, the reason why I called you is because God called me and he made me, he, he made, it was my duty. He told me that it was my duty to pass this torch in you. And let me tell you how powerful that was. It was it's a speaker in the world today that's known as one of the best speakers in the world. And I reached out to him at a very low time in my life. And that man turned his back on me. He didn't show me the man that he, I heard speak and talk. And this is what the universe did for me. God, think and grow rich. The power of your thoughts. God skipped me past the so-called greatest of all time and brought me the goat himself. And I didn't have to call him. He called my phone as I laid in the bed with my fiance. So at the end of the day, when I'm telling you people uh, 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 right now, my experience with Les Brown was 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 nothing less than 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 the feeling of being in heaven, whatever that felt like. And I know it may be powerful, but he took a kid that didn't have no money. I was overdraft at the time when he called me to come come sit down and do the interview. Uh, I, I I took my lift. Um, I took my last one hundred dollars to lift and get over there, and handle my business, and do what I had to do. And at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, the, the greatest of all time passed me the torch the first time I ever met him. That was my first time ever speaking to him, my first time ever sitting down with him. And the feeling and the connection was so raw and so real, man. I just It just made me believe this, man. I got a duty. And that duty is to make it to the top of the mountain. Not for me, but so I can reach my hand down, bro, and grab as many people as I can that they say is nothing, bro. And that's my duty, man. My, my, I really believe that we can change the world. I really believe that we can oh, do the amazing world is already things. Being changed. The world is already being changed. Now we're just, now they're just finding out about it. We've, you've already changed it. The minute you start speaking, it's done. That's it. And I believe that. Les Brown is a cool guy, but I tell you, man, I had goosebumps when I saw your pictures with him at the door. You hugging him, and I was like, "Damn, King is in the house." King, King is in the house. King. And 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 I'm I'm being the utmost humble. It's like, bro, I didn't see it coming. King, it was it was totally out of surprise, bro. I had I had no idea that the, one of the greatest speakers of all time. Then followed up four or five months later, I got to set. What four or five rows from um, Tony Robbins, man? And what happened was, man, when I stood in front of those guys, I said, "King Hollis, you belong. You belong, <laughs> kid. I don't care if you only 29, 30 years old. You belong." And sometimes, once you once you realize that, sometimes we always sit back and be like, "Man, do I belong?" At this level, like, like, it, yes, you do. And the moment you stop saying, do I belong, is the day that you will exist. 
And that is the truth, my brother. Attack every single day like it is your last moment to make your family and your legacy last forever. And if you adopt that mentality like I have, I wake up at 4.30 every day, every single day in the morning. And I scream to the sunrise, baby. I need mine. Who is the number one speaker in the world? I am. Who is mm. the number one speaker in the world? And you got you to gotta breathe this. You cannot wait for your moment. And the only way you're going to be remembered forever is if you chase legends. I chase legends, baby, because I only get one death, and they get one death as well. So I'm chasing them. And what do you do when a man is going 100 miles per hour and you haven't started the engine yet? You cut the brakes, baby. You cut That's the it. brakes. That's what's up. All right, listen, the, 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 the platform has changed. The social media has changed. Your voice is going to change so many people. And here's the scary part, King. You're going to change so many people's lives that they may not even let you know. You may not even know that you impacted their lives, but their lives have been impacted just by one video, by two minutes of video, three minutes. It doesn't take a miracle. It doesn't have to be five hours of training. It doesn't have to be five hours of motivation. It's like two seconds, five seconds. It just got to resonate, and they just got to go to work. But listen, I've seen no guru like you talk about you got to take action. You got to get off your ass, not sitting on the couch. You got to go get shit done. You wake up in the morning, you got to go hustle. I don't give a shit if you don't like the word hustle. You just got to go to work. I don't care who you are, what you do. You just got to go to work. I love Let's hustle. Be Speaking of hustle, my new album drops next week called Hustle and Motivate. This is a new innovative music that our youth, a, a, lot, of, a lot of our parents, you're a parent, um, you know, you got, you got nephews, nieces, you got individuals that say that this rap music pollutes their brain. So what I wanted to do is I bring, I put together an album that literally walks these young kings and queens through life, throughout their day. I'm talking about it hits you right now. And, and I put hip hop beats over so you can ride to it, so you can listen to it, so you can ride to it. You know what I mean? And that's, that's what, that's my only goal. When you said something, you said, Will, they might not even know a king. That's what I noticed the most. That's why, that's how beautiful God is, bro. I don't supposed to get the credit. I don't supposed to get the credit. I'm only supposed to do a job just like you do and, I, and everybody else around the world doing their part. I'm just doing my part. I'm one piece of the puzzle, baby. One small cube of the puzzle, baby. Everybody else, I need everybody else to come to court for us to change the world. They must be able to see the picture. And until we put all the pieces together, you won't be able to see the picture. And what I'm talking about with hustle and motivate, hustling, it's our DNA. I met a man in a gas station one time, and the man told me, I, 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 he, I, he said, man, I hustle. I hustle like, like the blood that flows in my veins. Love it, love it. He said, if I don't hustle, I can't breathe. I can't live. And that's all it is. Don't get it confused. We don't care about the money. But the truth is, behind it all, without it, your family will crumble. Your business, your livelihood will crumble. So just like we use the oxygen every day to wake up and breathe and live, we got to grind for that the same way to get up, eat, sleep, and live. I'm sorry, kings and queens. It, it ain't my fault. They, the man made it this way, but we fight in a war, and that war is survival. And we have more poverty and more homelessness on this earth than ever before. But until we put the pieces and puzzles Definitely. together, we won't be able to help those people. I Definitely. grind to help people. You got to change your mindset of why you work. I work to help people. So when I get through those pearly gates, God has a mission for me, another one. I fight for him. Um, it's not a man on this earth that can walk up to me. Greg, I don't care who you are. You're not anointed. If you're not anointed, I'm not afraid of you. You're not anointed. You're anointed by a dollar bill that, that my God doesn't even accept. He doesn't even accept it. You I, 
got a big suit. You got a big office. But you're not anointed. That's man giving. But when the creator give it to you, oh boy. Ooh. Baby, you can't steal it. You you're getting me excited, man. It may not be good for my heart. You're getting me excited. I have a weak heart. You got to take it easy on me. <laughs> oh, man. Man, I bet, man, it, it's such, like I said, man, every time I'm on this live with you, man, you, 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 you give me a memory of when I was just that kid. Wah, 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 wah. And you was like, kid, come on the show, man. Give me a chance. And, um, like, that's, that's why I want you to know, bro, for life, bro, I'm always going to be this kid, bro, that's humble and appreciative of you, man. And um, Definitely. I, I appreciate that. you, man. I definitely, I got some big plans cooking up. We haven't been talking about it, but I'll send you some info. We got some big stuff happening big time. It's not going to happen overnight, but it's been cooking. It's been cooking. We've been going back and forth. A lot of people are backing us up. I'm humble. To you say you're a little piece, I'm like a little tiny, tiny piece of the puzzle, and I'm just doing the best that I could do, just bring it. And let me tell you, King, I had a guy reach out to me on my DM literally an hour ago, and he said, I don't understand. How do you make money on social media? Can you teach me? And you know what I said? I said, we don't make money on social media. We just give it out. We just put it out. Deals are going to come through. Money is yeah. going to come through. Yeah. But that's not the point. And that's why people resonate with you because they know you're speaking from heart and there is no, there is no product. You're not selling nothing from the stage. There is no hidden agenda. There is nothing bullshit about it. This is it. We're helping you to go make, you got to go do what you got to do for yourself. And if in between we can make money, sure, no problem. We all got to pay our bills. It's cool. But I'm not going to worry about that because if I worry about that, I'm going to, it's going to take my eyes off of the prize and doing the big guys work is way more profitable than doing the man's work. Big Always. Fact. Big fact. Always. Big fact. That's it. King, I appreciate you. Thank you so much being on the channel. If there is anything you need from us, you know, you know, I got your back in LA. Do you Vice need anything? Versa, I'm here. Vice versa. You get out to Atlanta, man. I got to take you to one of my favorite restaurants. Sage out here, man. I, gotta take I appreciate you. you. Thank you so much. Say hello to everybody. We'll connect soon. Blessings. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Yeah.